Hello, I'm a first grade teacher at Paintsville Elementary, and my grant this time was I, the materials I got. I received a, the 14-inch iPad Pro. Um, I received an adapter that connected to the iPad Pro um, with a set of six headphones. And then I also purchased some flexible seating. But my main purpose of my grant was our classes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And all of my students in first grade, they want to be read to, which I love to, I still love to be read to. I still love to read to my grandchildren, but I needed more time um, with my large classes. This year I have 28, 28 first graders. And not only my struggling students, my higher students want to be read to as well. So I made this into my a learning station um, and I did some flexible seating. But I ended up moving some of the flexible seating into the classroom in different positions. But with the um, iPad Pro, I don't know if anybody's familiar. Is anybody familiar with the QR scan? Does anybody use that? Okay. Um, I have made a reading wall. And on the reading wall, my students have learned to, they can take the iPad Pro, they use the QR scan, and they can you just actually click snap the picture and they can listen to different books and I know our school probably as well as any schools in Kentucky right now we don't have the funds to keep purchasing books and books and have lots of books for them to read and we use the AR program and, you know my higher students they can come into first grade and they're reading AR books can test independently but this listening center has helped mine because they can go over I can do one student at a time or I can do a group of six. The way I use it, I rotate my reading groups. And they can have choices, they can all listen to the same book, or I can just have one student over on the reading center. Um, I've also, Mr. Oxer, our KVET coordinator, he has helped me to put our reading series. So now, like what stories I'm doing for the week, we can put the, we have the reading stories on there, so maybe somebody who needs to hear the story again, maybe somebody who's been absent, you know, it's a really good, because it's like an extra person. It's worked wonderful. Um, I'll go through my, let's see if I'll push it right. Um, my, was it going? Which one? This is different than mine. Clicker, which one am I pushing? Okay, okay. So, I'm not going to read this out loud, but may, I'm going to show you some pictures. And my pictures, some of them, I was trying to take a picture of the seating so that you can just see the different chairs. I started off my reading center, and I learned when we write these grants and we get the materials, I change. First of all, my reading center was going to have six chairs of flexible seating. That worked good, but I decided I had other students that maybe. ADD, a, you know, different students, and so I moved some of those chairs, so I had in my reading center some plain first grade chairs, and I also had some of the flexible seating chairs. Some students love the flexible seating chairs, some don't. You know, I have a couple of them, they've learned now, you know, you use it, you abuse it, we take it back, you switch to a different chair. I had some that were bouncing, you know, and you're going to see that at first. And um, we've even taken some milk crates and took the bouncy balls from Walmart for $2.97 and our students love them, you know, so we just do what we have to do to make our classroom um, better. I'll show you some pictures, but I, this is mainly what I had told you guys. I did it. The picture's not real good. Big enough. Let me see if I can find a bigger one. There's my action plan. And this is with the QR code. We, I have a whole wall, even teacher pay teacher has several of these and you know I'm not purchasing anything they're free you just the kids can click it and go read books read books and books so that's been my main focus on my grant there's some pictures I started off with the reading center here and I used some different chairs we even have some like some desk type chairs those have worked real well and we learned to shop yard sales everywhere we can go to find different chairs besides what I purchased um, there's just the regular milk crate. There's the, there's a soccer ball chair, baseball chair. The, here's one, I've got, with the grant, I got four of these. I think somebody else showed a picture of these a few minutes ago. These work real well. They don't seem to bounce as bad as some of them. Um, this was one, I have, um, one student with spinal bifida. So I was looking for seating 
you know, that I could use every year. So I have this type of seating as well. That was purchased with the grant too, which has worked real well. And then the headphones, he can take the headphones and do it there. Here's my baseball chair. Um, there's some of those chairs. That's just the data. My lowest students were averaging 60% on comprehension quizzes on my AR, and I saw drastic um, progress by some of them getting to hear the story more and more rather than just me reading it one time. Um, student opinion of the survey, 90% of the students love the flexible seating environment and believe that it helps the focus. Um, we voted on different chairs of who liked what. We did a graph. And I was really surprised there was maybe four students who still just wants the basic first grade chair. So, you know, all students don't want the change. Um, the listening centers made it easier for me. You know, with the large classroom, that was what I really loved the most about it, was having more time that I could work with the group, but I step, kept another group engaged at the same time. All right, any questions? If you haven't used QR scan, it's awesome. Teacher pay teacher, it's awesome. Anybody have any questions?